Hi guys, welcome to iMobi channel. If you factory reset your second hand or old phone without disabling factory reset protection, Google Lock will be initiated. That means you cannot use it if you cannot enter the correct account and passcode. No worries, we will tell you how to bypass Google account verification on Android in this video. Let's dive in. In the first part, we will tell you what is FRP. FRP is short for Factory Reset Protection, which is designed to make sure someone can't just wipe and factory reset your phone if you've lost it or it was stolen. On your Android phone, sign into your Google account in Settings, after that, once you factory reset your phone, it will ask you to enter the account and passcode to set up, otherwise, you cannot access the home screen. You may be curious about how to factory reset Android phone. So in the second part, we will show you two ways. If you remember your account and passcode, please check the first solution. First, launch your browser to search Find My Device Google to go to the official website. Sign into your Google account and you will see the device screen. You will see three options here, click Erase Device button. Then, enter the correct passcode, Google will ask you to complete two-step verification. Tap on yes and then the same number on your device, you can erase the phone. If you don't receive any notification on your phone, click try another way. Google also allows you to complete the two-step verification by using another device to tap or phone number to receive the verification code. If you don't remember Google account and passcode, please check the second solution. Power off your phone. Our device is Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, so we press and hold the volume up, Bixi, and home buttons at the same time to put it into recovery mode. If you have another Android device, check the article in our description to get a tutorial. Next, release buttons when you see the device logo. When you see the recovery mode screen, press the volume button to choose the wipe data and factory reset option. Then, select Reboot System Now. Your phone will restart, and when you see the welcome screen, complete the setups. But if your phone is signed into a Google account, after checking the update, you will be stuck on Google verification screen. What to do if you forgot the account and passcode? Please check the last part. In the third part, we will show you a 100% work tip to bypass Google account verification on Android. Let's introduce DroidKit to you first. DroidKit is a complete Android solution for all Android issues, including data recovery, screen unlock, FRP bypass, system fix, data management, etc. With DroidKit, you can bypass FRP on various Android devices, including Samsung, Xiaomi, Poco, and Oppo, from Android 6 to 13. Every model has a customized bypassing solution to make sure you can get the highest success rate. Check more info in our description if you want to learn more. Now, let's show you how to use DroidKit to bypass FRP. Connect your phone via a USB cable to your PC or Mac. Download and launch DroidKit and select FRP Bypass. Click Start and wait for the configuration files to be prepared. Next, DroidKit will ask you to choose your Android OS version. Follow the instructions in DroidKit. If you haven't factory reset your Android phone, Please reset it and reach the welcome screen first. Then, complete some setups and connect a stable Wi-Fi. Go back to the welcome screen and tap on emergency call. 
Enter the code shown in DroidKit and click Reset. When you see the bypass completed screen, your phone will restart. Now, let's check if the Google account is removed or not. That's all tips, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.